it's Jessica and I am back with my second episode of my Sweet Southern Knitting podcast. I don't really remember the last time that I filmed, to be quite honest with you. Um, the last time that I filmed, I had a lot of time to knit and a lot of things has changed since then. Um, I do remember that I filmed that video, I believe, last year uh, sometime or earlier this year. In fact, let me look it up while, while I am talking to you. Um, let me see here. So I actually looked it up because I, I couldn't figure out how to, to look up the date on my phone. So I looked it up and I posted that video 10 months ago. And I know that I filmed that video at least a good couple of days, if not a week, before I actually posted. So we're looking at roughly, um, like June, not June, um, like July of last year. So probably closer to the end of June, I mean, end of July or August. So uh, since then, um, I actually, not long after posting that video, my husband got really sick. We had to go uh, to the ER and it took him about a month to get well enough to where he could go out. Um, he just had a really bad uh, sugar spell, I guess you would call it. And uh, his sugar had gotten out of control and it was causing other things. Um, he is 100% better now. Um, his sugar is completely under control. And we are just living a more healthy, uh, healthier lifestyle today than we were then. Um, I have also gotten a little bit more busy at church. I ha <clears throat> excuse me. I have a second uh, YouTube channel for those of you who found me not through that uh, YouTube channel, but it's called Planet Southern P L A N I T Southern. I'll link it down below, where I make planner related videos. I've also been kind of slack on that channel too. I just haven't had um, a lot of going on. <laughs> more. More going on, but nothing that I actually planned. It's a long story. You guys don't care. Uh, but anywho, I had um, started this channel right after uh, deciding that I wanted to do more like cleaning videos and stuff like that. And it just didn't fit that channel. It's more of like a planner channel. But I have an Etsy shop, which is why I created that particular YouTube channel. Um, and my Etsy shop has been crazy busy. And I just didn't expect my Etsy shop to continue to grow. It was just a side hobby. But now it is more like a full-fledged, full-time job. So thank you to anyone who has supported me through that YouTube channel or through that um, Etsy Income Avenue. I do greatly appreciate it. But knitting is my passion. And for a long time, um, I knit so much. And then uh, right when my husband started getting sick and I started taking more care for him, um, particularly uh, my knitting kind of slowed down. And then it picked back up for Christmas. And I knit Christmas presents that I didn't even get to film. Um, you might can find them on my, uh, actually no, they're probably not on my Instagram channel or Instagram. But anywho, um, I just kind of let this, since I had only done one video, I kind of let it slide to the back burner and then with all of this COVID stuff that is going on um first of all I just want to thank all of the um nurses and doctors and frontline workers that we have out there and everyone who has worked in a grocery store or the food industry uh things like that and all the small businesses but especially our frontline police and firefighters and uh, first responders and nurses, doctors, EMTs, paramedics, all of that. I just want to say thank you because you are what is uh, keeping us going and you are definitely the real heroes um, out there uh, next to our armed forces. So I just wanted to say thank you. But with all of that going on, I haven't really changed my, my setup, um, my work. I do work from home. My husband, I run his office for our family company, and I have my Etsy shop. I have church, which has changed because we're not actually having children's ministry, which is what I do. I work in children's ministry, and uh, we're not really having service, 
but we're recording videos and and making fun things online for the kids so that has changed I've had to do more interactive work like that and I thought you know everyone in my knitting groups on Facebook or Instagram you know they're getting to stay home and knit all this wonderful stuff but I'm not knitting as much it's kind of crazy and I decided that I would go on uh, and support some of the yarn stores the local yarn stores um, and hand dyers and people that because I know things like Knit City and such they got canceled so I have here before me the one project that I actually finished that I still have here at my house um, because it, it was a present for someone at Christmas and it turns out I dropped a stitch and I had to fix it. I have one sweater that's almost complete and uh, stuff like that so I have a few handful of projects that I want to show you guys. Um, and then the rest of it is just yarn. So it's not going to be a super long episode today um, or super crazy. I'm hoping that I will get to film um, these types of videos uh, at least once a month. If not, I'm, I'm going to go at least once a month. I'm going to try for two. But considering I don't do a ton of knitting, it may only be once a month. I do have more yarn on the way. But let's dive into my, um, my whips and I will show you what I've been working on. Bet you guys are wondering why I didn't zoom that in before. <laughs> I didn't notice how far away my camera was. So uh, this first project is the, I'm gonna pull it up here on, not YouTube, on Ravelry. I have the Ravit app. Does anyone else have the Ravit app? Um, R-A-V-I-T. Links to your Ravelry, Ravelry, but it puts it on your phone. Anyway, this is the very first pattern that I have. It's the, well, it's not going to focus. It's the in, in, Indira, I believe is what it's called. Girl. Guys, I'm from South Carolina. Well, I'm from North Carolina. I live in South Carolina. I don't say things very well. In, Indira, Indira, I-N-D-I-R-A. I'm going to put a picture up of it here on the screen just so I'm going to move it back to the picture that I showed you guys. And I'm, I'm screenshotting it. So I'm going to put it right here on the screen for you guys. But... I was going to make this for my mom for mother for Christmas, uh, Christmas, but halfway through, after making my grandmother a shawl and a pair of socks, my grandma decides that she wants a sweater, and so I wanted to make her sweater, and so I didn't get to finish the shawl, and also um, I had to go back and correct like quite a few rows because I messed up on this but either way it is quite beautiful I love the braided edge and it's growing so you start here and then you work your way down to here and I was not getting gauge. What I'm using is, um, I want a DK weight yarn. And I've never used DK weight yarn before. And that's what the pattern calls for. And I was at Hobby Lobby and instead of ordering some, I picked up this Yarn B Soft and Sleek DK. Oh, yeah, I thought I had it upside down. Uh, and this is in the color aquamarine. So what I did, this was, I was not getting gauge just with this yarn. So um, I'm holding it double. And I am using a US 4, which is a 3.5 millimeter needle. 
to get gauge and it's just this is a beautiful color and I feel like once um, I block it it is going to be um, beautiful but this is going to be for my mom and I wanted something that wasn't very high maintenance so this is an acrylic yarn but it is super super soft um, so that is what I'm using for that project this is a vintage Barreco, I believe it is, yarn in the color Grapefruit. And I can't remember if I showed this in my last um, episode, the very first episode or not. But this actually is showing up very orange on the um, monitor here. But uh, it's more of a, like lighter color peachy tangerine not as pumpkin orange as it is showing on the screen but i am almost to the ribbing on this this was my very first sweater cast on and um, i actually stopped working on this to do christmas knits and um, to do my grandmother's sweater and so this is just a let me pull up here I should have gotten all of this ready um, oh Vanessa Smith is who is the um, pattern writer oh hello Charlie hello boy he doesn't care to be if he's on YouTube or not so he's my friend today he's my co-producer um, Vanessa Smith is who is the in Indira shawl uh, but this is the um, this is the basic raglan pullover by Hohi Locatelli, I believe. Yep. This is the basic raglan pullover by Hohi Locatelli, and I just need to finish the body and do the hem and pick up for the sleeves, and then this will be done perhaps by fall. Who really knows? I've been working on it for a very long time. So, um, very, very long time. So, I'm going to lay that over here and hope that my co-host over here doesn't start digging in it. So, uh, this is my second sweater. And I'm going to blame Jody Brown from the Grocery Girls. She talks about this autumn leaf pullover all the time. I did my gauge swatch and all of that. Somehow I'm still coming out with an oversized sweater, but I'm kind of digging it. So I still, I have actually finished the body. I have finished my sleeve and wow, on camera it is looking like I have crazy uh, color, but you can't really tell that color change there um, in person but it's showing up a lot on the camera but um I've actually finished and sewed and seamed all the way down one sleeve so now I am this is one that you do the um you do the I think you do the complete back panel or maybe you do it, no, I think you do it in the round and then you split at the sleeves and then you sew all the way from the bottom hem all the way up to the um, arm, um, all the way up to the wrist. Um, but you knit, it's knit black. Um, so I'm following it per the pattern except for the sleeves. I don't know why I tried to decrease the sleeves the way I did. This is going to be my, um, my basically uh, project, fun project sweater because it doesn't fit. But I am um, basically just need to finish this sleeve and then I actually went ahead and sewed or seamed from uh, the bottom hem to the underarm and then I picked up my stitches for my sleeve and then I will sew from the armhole 
to the um to this wrist so but this is the autumn league oh and then i need to pick up and do the neck band that is the autumn league pullover and i am using the uh, lion brand jeans yarn and i'm using that in the color top stitch which is 121 e very very pretty color um but i also am i started a second one um but i put it on waist yarn because i need it i think i needed my needles for something else um but this is the autumn league pullover and actually this is the top where the neck is and this is also the jeans yarn let me get that ball i forgot to grab it let me grab it and i'll tell you what color it is so this is also in the lime brand jeans yarn and this is the color brand new 108 are like Robert and uh, I really do love this color when I was <laughs> right before all of this started this um, the COVID stuff started where you had to stay home like before it was really like a big thing um we were out shopping um, my husband and I and I made him take me to Michael's and I got every color of this jeans yarn and as many balls as I could so that I could start several of these sweaters, but I'm glad that I did not work them to a certain point on each sweater, or I would have three that did not fit. So that's the Autumn League pullover. This one, the blue one, I'm going to be doing in one size or two sizes smaller. I have the I have the measurements wrote down, um, but I'm gonna be doing them per the pattern. I'm not gonna make any changes. We're gonna see how that goes because I can do a sweater out of here fairly, fairly cheap. So cheaper than hand dyed yarn. So, so there is that. Um, and then I always have a washcloth, a dishcloth going. This is just in some of the line brand cotton, kitchen cotton in gray. And I figured I would show you guys that because it's my favorite. It's a free pattern somewhere on Pinterest or in a somewhere. It's a free pattern. But you uh, start with four stitches and you increase. Um, and I increase to 35 and then I start my decreases. And that is my go-to dishcloth uh, pattern. So... Let's move on to my one finished object. So I wanted to make my two best friends something handmade that I thought they would get a lot of use out of. I really sat down and thought about it, thought about their wardrobe and what they normally wear. And um, I have a friend who always gets kind of chilly in church. And I decided that I was going to make her a shawl because she likes to wear thing, like scarves and things around her neck. And I thought that a shawl would be perfect because you can wear it like a, um, a scarf so she could wear it in her wardrobe. But then she could also wrap up in it. Um, if she got cold, she could take it off and wrap up in it. So... I don't know that I can get all of this on screen. In fact, I know I can't. And I'm trying to find this, the right side. What is this one? No. Well, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> it's garter stitch. But this is the A Gleam Shawl by Lisa Mutch. This is my favorite shawl. I absolutely love this shawl. In fact, I'm planning on making myself one um, in the jeans yarn. 
I, this is the jeans yarn by line brand it's the black one i lost the ball band so i can't tell you exactly what color it is but it's the only black one that they have um, but i'm gonna make myself one out of the blue because i wear a lot of navy and i just want something cool to wear during this summer uh winter i mean so that's the a gleam shawl And I really love it and I did it one step up from what the ball band calls for a uh, needle size so I used a I believe I used a US 8 or 9 so uh, that's why it's kind of loose but I like it it's it's really lightweight but also really warm so my battery is about to die so I'm gonna switch out my battery and I'll be right back all right, so now that we have gotten all of our whips and FOs out of the way, let's talk yarn because y'all, I, I think I overdid it. So let's start with the fact that I bought all of that Lion Brand yarn, the jeans, um, to make those sweaters. Let's just start there um, because I got blue and the uh, like rusted yellow color. While I was there, I saw more of the soft and sleek DK from uh, Hobby Lobby. The B yarn or the yarn B. Um, anyway, it was like five bucks and not only was it five bucks, but it was on sale that week at Hobby Lobby. So I got quite a lot of this yarn to make shawls. Um, I kind of want to start uh, making more hand knits for my wardrobe. So I wanted to make um, a few shawls. And one of them was the Agleam in the blue color. And another one was the... Um, it's, it's another one by Lisa Much. I'll have to see if I can't find uh, Dissent, Dissent or something like that. Um, but I wanted to make that for myself in this beautiful, beautiful heathered gray color. So, I purchased that. Then I went across, this was at Hobby Lobby, but while I was at Michael's, which was across the street... They had their uh, yarn inspirations, the Karen Cakes. They had them on sale. And I want to make my uh, little cousin a bigger uh, baby blanket than what I made her. She hasn't even got it yet because I wasn't crazy about the Parfait Layers acrylic that I used. Um, but her brother, I made her brother a blanket out of this and it's his absolutely favorite blanket. So I wanted to make her one. So this is the Karen Cakes, and this is a cake roll, and it is in, I thought, oh, cake roll is the color. I thought that's what they were calling. Oh, no, it's called Big Cakes. Anyway, this is the colorway, color story, and this is the color of her room and her nursery. Um, so I'm going to be making her, actually, the dishcloth pattern that I showed you guys where you start at four and you go on. Um, I'm going to be making her that blanket out of this yarn. So, I'm not a yarn snob. I do love me some good acrylic yarns. It's an everyday workhorse, and I really love acrylic yarn. Especially when I can go to my uh, Michaels and get it, or um, Hobby Lobby, or Joann's, and pick it up and start a project right away. But... I do love me a good hand dyed yarn, which is why I went a little ham. <laughs> it, at first, it all started with the Lemonade Shop. If you haven't heard of the Lemonade Shop yarn, you need to go buy some because I think I talked about it in my last video, but they have the cutest rainbow uh, colored yarn. And I picked up two in the... They're both, yeah, two in the simple sock because um, 
I like to wear fun socks for house socks and uh, house shoes. I would prefer to wear socks over shoes um, around the house. And so I picked up two from her. Uh, this is Zebra Tea Party. It is just gorgeous. And this is the back. I just absolutely love the play of color between black, white, and then that rainbow um, of color that comes out. She's got navy, purple, orange, pink that fades to like a yellow color. She's got green and teal and blue. I love her colors. And then this one, uh, she, I think she may have been retiring some colors. I may be confusing her shop with another shop. But, um, you know, let me zoom this camera in a little bit more. Yes, this works. Um, I think she may have been getting rid of some colors or she was having a sale. I don't really remember. But this one is called Shrimp Boat. And it is like the softest, palest, peach pink color with these teal mixed in. And it has hot pink speckles, but it is absolutely gorgeous. So these will be my house socks and I will probably be able to get one pair of tall and one pair of shorties or maybe three pairs of shorties. I'm not sure yet. Definitely a shorty. In both of those though. I will go ahead and tell you that not all of this yarn is recently purchased either. I've had this uh, yarn for some time. Um, so this is basically yarn that I've ordered since last year. All of the acrylic I just got though. But some of this hand tied yarn I did just purchase and uh, some of it I purchased um, a while ago. The lemonade shop I did. Um, I had ordered some yarn from um, the candy shop and then she posted on her Instagram or in one of the videos um, they are um, somewhere at the castle sometime at the castle meanwhile at the castle <laughs> uh, Deborah I believe is uh, who does the uh, candy shop yarn she was going out of business or at least stopping doing the yarn for now forever I'm not sure and I really wanted some more of one colorway so that I could finish a shawl. And um, actually, let me see if I can get that shawl so I can show you. All right, well, y'all, I just did something so stupid. I'm gonna have to start this shawl over. But it's cool, it's cool. Don't freak out, don't freak out. I may can save it, but probably not. Um, I'm not freaking out, so you shouldn't freak out. But this is an Agleam shawl that I'm making for myself. And I'm, I'm probably not going to start over. I'm just going to pick up stitches somewhere in the middle of this blue. Apparently, my stoppers were not on my cable. And I snatched the needles off to do another project. So, I have to figure out what needles I was using. <laughs> but, anywho. So, this is the Agleam shawl. I don't know if I showed you guys this or not, but this, I ran out of the main color, the purple. I ran out of that and it is the Nowhere to Go But Up from um, Candy Shop Yarn. So, it is this really pretty like purple blue and yellow um, is her simple syrup base it's 400 yards 80 20 with merino and nylon and she was going out of business but she did have some of these so I was able to snatch this one and I may have already showed these in my previous um, 
episode. So if I did, I'm sorry. If not, cool. Um, so I'm going to have to start that over and finish it. And I actually might start that tonight. Um, and then I was able to get her frosting and sprinkles, which is a really cool blue pink base. And then two minis in the teal and in the pink. And these will definitely be um, a pair of shorties with the mint and a pair of shorties with the hot pink. So I'm really sad that she closed up shop for now or for good. Uh, she really did have some of the best colors. Um, but I totally get it. So moving on from there to recently purchased yarn I have some on the way but I have wanted for a really long time to get some Hue Loco yarn on um, the backyard chicken collection and then uh, once I heard that all of this was going on and a lot of the yarn shows had been canceled I went on and looked and I found two from the barnyard chicken collection that um, I want to do I can't decide if I want to make shawls or socks, but this one is the Hens, and it is Phyllis Sock, and it is the blue Lang Langshan color, but it is this gorgeous blue, gray, kind of mauve -y colorway and then it has the two minis that are a like rust color and a uh, like mustard yellow and these three colors together are just so beautiful I don't know what I want to make with them if I want to make a shawl or what I want to make but I know that I wanted the yarn so I bought it for the yarn this one I bought for the yarn and I bought it for socks and I bought it for socks but who knows I might I might make a shawl but probably not it'll probably be socks um, but this is also the Phyllis sock and it's the hens and this is the Sumatra Sumatra and it is kind of a purple and green with like a gray background or gray wash. And like the purples are speckles and it's got the green speckles. And then it has a matching purple and mint green mini. So what I'm thinking is doing um, one of uh, Tracy from the Grocery Girls, one of her sock patterns for shorties, maybe the Georgia sock with these. That would be really pretty. So, um, speaking of the Grocery Girls, Jody, her, um, her little lovely self, <laughs> her, um, her, I think, oldest child or one of her kids um, is now making to the max yarn. And she was having a sale and I really wanted to support local and really wanted to help her get her feet off the ground. So I bought two of her sock sets. Um, this one is, oh shoot. I don't know which, I don't remember what colorway I got. But anyway, this one is, they're both on Stellina base. So they're both sparkle. Definitely socks. The pink with the teals. I couldn't pass it up, even though I have a couple of minis in this teal, or one other, two other minis in this teal. And I have pink yarn. Could not pass it up because I absolutely love it. And then this one is a navy, I think this one is home team. It's like a navy and black with an orange mini. 
and the blue uh, goes light, but really pretty. And I really do like her yarn. Those are uh, also both on Stellina bases, uh, which means they have that sparkle. And I probably will do socks with both. I've noticed I've become very selfish here lately, and I've wanted all the sock yarn for myself. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely, definitely want all the sock yarn for myself. So, I made a really big purchase. In fact, my biggest hand-dyed yarn purchase. Um, and now, for the life of me, I can't remember what I bought it for. So, give me just a second. Let me see if I can't look it up. So I can't remember why I bought this yarn, but I want to say it was either for a love note or it was for the boxy from Hohe. But I bought from the Yarnberry, Yarnberry, kind of like library, but Yarnberry. Um, but I bought the uh, Memoir DK, which is a Superwash Merino, and I bought it in Hugo, which is the author's, but I bought a sweater quantity of this color, and it is absolutely gorgeous. It's like a heathered blue with some of the, like, a gray, so... I ordered this for uh, me in a sweater quantity, and I also picked up um, Handsome Enough to Tempt Me, and I think this is her second um, release of this, and it's in her classic sock, which is $75.25, and she is the other half, Lord have mercy, I'm horrible, I can't remember her name, um, Uh, her sister is the one that does the candy shop yarns, and she's the other. Lord have mercy. I'm so sorry. I can't remember her name. It'll come back to me eventually. But, um, I just love this. This is her, um, Handsome Enough to Tempt Me. And it is a, um, beautiful, like, purple and cream, like, lavender and cream pinky set. It's just gorgeous. I don't know what I'm going to do with this because part of me really wants socks. Really, really, really want socks out of this. And the other part of me says that this color will get ruined walking through my house. But I don't know if I want a shawl. I'm so torn, so torn on what I'm going to make out of these, uh, these two sets. So, I have no idea what I'm going to do with those. But this was a really short video and I know that I'm still getting in the swing of things. So, comment down below with your favorite patterns. I I do have a Ravelry group. Um, but I'm going to be honest, I think I'm bit off more than I can chew starting this Ravelry group. So, I haven't posted in it but maybe once. And I forget that I have it. So, comment down below. Let's keep the conversation going here for a while. And then maybe move to Ravelry. Um, but thank you guys so, so much for watching. And I hope to be uh, checking back in with you guys um, in June. And we can see what I've decided to make with some of this stuff. You guys have a good rest of your week. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Shoot.